The impact of telecommunications on the world is huge. Since its introduction in the 19th century with the telegraph and telephone, the sector has kept on growing and even expanded with facsimile, web browsing, email, video conferencing, and much more. The transmission media has evolved from the traditional copper wire up to the broadband fibre transport used today. Technologies used for communications have also changed greatly and become faster, cheaper and smaller. Unfortunately, that is not the case for fibre optic switching technology. Optical switches that today are implemented in fibre networks are still bulky and expensive. As a result, operators still use connector-rich patch panels in central offices where the network is configured by a manual intervention of operators that reinstall connector plugs. A paradigm shift in this area could be enabled by the European consortium SWIFT. This consortium, led by Comscope, brings industrial, academic and research partners together to develop a concept of an optical switch based on fluidics combined with integrated photonics. Fluidics is the science that deals with the flow of liquids inside micrometer-sized channels. Today, a comparable technology has been successfully implemented in e-readers. The screens of e-readers are made of tiny capsules filled with black and white particles that react to electrical charges. A single charge adjusts the position of the particles, creating pixels on the screen. A similar technology can be useful to switch fibre connections. The light beam entering the switchboard in the silicon photonics chip can be switched from one waveguide to another depending upon the position of the droplets that are covering the waveguide structure in the chip. You can create, let's say, by some mechanical barriers, a position where the droplet wants to stay, very stable, even when you shake it. And by our electrical fields, which we apply, you can move it to another position where, again, the droplet stays in another position. The main advantage of the microfluidics is that if there's a power cut, the droplet stays where it is, and so the switch kind of remembers the, the configuration it's in. Once the switch has been configured, it can go in a kind of sleeping mode and becomes a pure passive device. This is to be considered as new to the world. The green aspect of the technology is important because we know that in the future, uh, a lot of applications will also address a lot of energy. It's clear that where you can save energy, you have to do it. And in particular with our solution, we will save energy dramatically in telecom applications. The technologies that we are using, they are very mature and they are brought together in this project in a very innovative way. Never before the microfluidics has been used together with uh, silicon photonics for a telecom application. State-of-the-art switching solutions may use beam steering or MEMS tiny mirror technology, which are less compact and more expensive. Today, optical distribution frames in fibre optics still need to be compared to old telephone central offices where an operator manually reconfigures by repatching fibre optic connectors. Now, if the switch can be introduced in such a network element, this is no longer needed. What we allow telecom operators to do here is to avoid sending technicians in the field to patch and repatch cables. They can do all these operations remotely from a central location uh, with software. Due to the compact size of the device, the footprint of the optical distribution frame becomes smaller, which means the floor occupation in the central office will also be reduced. The introduction of the switch will therefore lead to more cost-effective solutions than we currently have today. Once it is possible to introduce that type of components in closures, the design of the closure will also dramatically change because the organizers, in essence, are not needed anymore. You just splice in uh, the reconfigurable device and actually your network element, its functionality is just to protect it against the harsh environments of the outside plant.
reconfiguring the device can then be done without even bringing the closure to the surface. One of the major problems within the project was to find a solution for a broadband edge coupling of fibres to the chip, compared to the well-known grating coupling, where fibres are coupled almost perpendicular to the chip. You have to imagine a core of a 9 micron fibre in a connector plug must ideally be coupled to such a small confined waveguide. That's a hell of a difficulty to do. Now, within the project, we have worked out a solution where we come close to a, a very efficient uh, fibre-to-chip coupling. The SWIFT concept still needs to tackle some challenges, but the solutions which SWIFT aims to bring are promising and will enable telecom operators to have future, flexible and manageable networks. <laughs>